Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, this is the eighth lecture of general toxicology, and in this lecture, I'll be discussing management of poisoning. There are general principles for the treatment of poisoning. Like, first of all, we should do the clinical evaluation of the patient, the assessment and support of vital function, which is most important. The most important first objective is to save the life of the patient. That is, we should uh, clear the airways for breathing, we should maintain the circulation, the temperature and the blood pressure, all should be maintained. Now, regarding the treatment of general symptoms. First of all, we should maintain the airway. We should clear the airway. If the suction is required, we should uh, suck the secretion, the breathing and circulation and we know that the doctors uh, act upon the ABCs of the treatment strategy, airway, breathing and circulation. So this is most important. First of all, airway, breathing and the circulation. That should be most important objective. Then if the person is in severe pain, you can give him morphine. Then oxygen or artificial respiration when it is required. Cardiac stimulants for failing circulation, then anesthetics or barbiturates for convulsions can be given. IV fluid like saline, ringer lactate for dehydration can be given. Then we should maintain the urine output, keep an input and output balance. We should, uh, person if it is unconscious, we should catheterize and we should know the output of the urine. Then sodium bicarbonate can be given for the acidosis. Glucose infusion for the depletion of the liver glycogen can be given. Then restore the sodium and potassium balance. You should know the electrolytes and restore them. Now regarding the maintenance. The patient should be kept warm and comfortable. After saving the life of the patient, the main threat after that is the upper respiratory infection, especially in elder and the children. So the prophylactic antibiotic can also be given. Good nursing care, physiotherapy is most beneficial. Then supportive psychotherapy for the rehabilitation of the patients. Now, a common method which is used, the Scandinavian method of management. This is the method of intensive supportive therapy and the method consists of, first of all, we should assess the patient, then the emergency measures, then general care of the patient. The general rule is to save the life of the patient first along with the medical legal duty. So regarding the assessment of the patient, the clinical examination is made to assess the disturbances in the vital function like the central nervous system, cardiovascular system and the respiratory system and temperature. Regarding the central nervous system, the impairment of the level of consciousness is the most constant feature of the hypnotic and sedative poisoning. And the patient's consciousness is divided into four grades. Grade 1, drowsy but responding to vocal commands. Grade 2, unconscious but responding to minimal painful stimuli. Grade 3, unconscious but responding to maximum painful stimuli. And grade 4, unconscious and not responding to painful stimuli. In the respiratory system, one, once the airways are uh, cleared, the, they are patent, then the adequacy of ventilation is determined by the atrial puncture of blood for blood gases. That atrial blood gases, ABGs, are measured and the pH, the oxygen saturation, carbon dioxide level and bicarb, it is determined. 
In cardiovascular system, we should maintain the blood pressure and the peripheral circulation. This systolic blood pressure less than 90 is dangerous and it indicates that the patient is going into shock. When the temperature of the body is determined, in the rectal temperature less than 36 degrees Celsius is indicative of hypothermia. Then regarding the emergency uh, management, we should manage the cardiovascular, respiratory and the CNS uh, system. In general care, the, we should manage the hypothermia, we should correct the uh, water and electrolyte balance and we should treat infection. Now what is coma cocktail? Although the treatment of coma, we know that it depends upon the cause, but there are certain general treatment rules. If the cause is unknown, then what often is given is the coma cocktail. And the term coma cocktail basically refers to a combination of substances which are administered in emergency to a comatose person at the time when the cause of coma in the individual was not known. In every case where identity of poison is unknown and central nervous system depression is there, the coma cocktail must be given which includes dextrose, 100 ml of 50% glucose or dextrose solution that is given in thiamine, vitamin B1, 100 mg and naloxone, 2 mg of naloxone which is uh, an antidote for morphine. So in addition to coma cocktail in CNS depression patient, they should also receive 100% oxygen in a mask and the flow should be high, that is it should be 8 to 10 liters per minute. And this is a mixture of thiamine. The thiamine will help in alcoholics or nutritionally starved patients. And glucose will help in diabetics when the sugar level is low. And naloxone that reverses the action of many narcotics is used to treat the overdose of their drugs. Now what is Toxidrome? It's a group or constellation of signs and symptoms particular to a class of drug, chemicals or poisons. That means a set of clinical signs and symptoms that suggest a specific class of poisoning. For example, Anticholinergic toxidrome, sympath sympath uh, sympathomimetic toxidrome, that means having uh, sympathetic actions, or uh, opioids toxidrome. So these are group of symptoms which is being shown, and then we classify them according to the symptoms which are appearing. Then we will know what poison will be showing anticholinergic drugs and they drugs and poison should be in anticholinergic toxidromes. So toxidrome is a group of drugs together according to the signs and symptoms and generally which they produce in the patients. So when you encounter a patient which is presenting in a certain way you will be able to recognize the toxic drone that the patient is showing the anticholinergic toxic drone or sympathomyomatic toxic drone we can get an idea of the type of poison like in anticholinergic toxic drone it is a group of drugs that interfere with the binding of acetylcholine to muscarinic receptor which results in blocking the parasympathetic action of the central nervous system. And the effects will be 
person will be showing what hyperthermia what as here blind with the dilated pupil that is mid dresses the vision not will be not perfect in dry secretions will be dried up in dry as bone red and beet that is due to vasodilation and flush skin and lead as hatter that is the cause of agitation and hallucination in tachycardia can be seen in decreased bowel movement so thank you very much this was all about the management